No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, it's Andy at No Film School. I'm here with Mitch at Convergent Design, and we're here to talk about some firmware updates for the Odyssey and the Apollo. Talk to us, Mitch. Well, we're going to have a new firmware that's going to come out in a couple of weeks for the Odyssey 7Q Plus and Apollo. It's going to have a bunch of new features. The main things we're talking about right now for Odyssey are the raw bundles, the stuff that we're adding to the Odyssey raw bundle. We're going to have some other things, leaving a little bit of secret sauce at the moment so that you know everyone gets some news when they actually all shows up. But the, in the Odyssey raw bundle, the first thing is the IO 4K camera. We're going to support that in the Odyssey raw. And that is going to be available immediately with the, in, with the new uh, firmware release. The next one, Sony just announced what they're going to have for the FS5. That camera is going to have uh, raw output, and that'll be next month that they release that raw. We'll be right behind them. We've been doing the FS700 and FS7. We've been doing that for years now, so we're going to in include support for that. So there is one more part to the Odyssey raw bundle, which is coming later this summer, the Panasonic Vericam LT. And we're adding that functionality as well. They're going to they're going to add raw output sometime this summer. I don't know if they've announced exactly what date that'll be, but when that comes, right behind it, we'll have the Odyssey raw bundle support for the Vericam. Apollo is available on its own as a device, or it's an option for the Odyssey 7Q Plus or the, even the original Odyssey 7Q. So there's a, a device that's been around for years, and we've added a complete new functionality to it. You can completely transform this box into a totally new machine. So if you have if you have the Odyssey, you can turn it into a, an Apollo pretty much? Yes, you can get the Apollo option, and everything that you can do with uh, straight Apollo, you can do on an Odyssey with the Apollo option in it. No limitation. What are the hardware differences between the Apollo and the Odyssey? The, Apo the Odyssey 7Q Plus and the Apollo are identical hardware. The Odyssey 7Q, the original one, has a few uh, hardware limitations, which is why we had to move on. It has, it, the HDMI can't take a 4K signal. The uh, first two SDI inputs are 3G, but they can't take a 6G signal, which is what you get out of a, uh, a Blackmagic camera that's sending a 4K image. So otherwise, and we can send uh, 4K signals in otherwise over dual link 3G and some other cam ways that these signals are set, but that's just the only limitation. Otherwise, they are identical, and they have all the same capabilities in them. And what else is new with the Apollo? Well, let's talk about what Apollo itself does. It is a multi-camera monitor and recorder, just like you have with uh, Odyssey, and a switcher as well. So with 4K, we can do 4K 60p and record that in ProRes, but we can also take two 4K signals at 30p and record them. And you see them as a picture-in-picture, -picture and you can sort of switch between them, and you can see that recording. In HD, we can record up to four HD signals, and that's 1080, 720p, 1080i, 1080p. We can record four of them at once. We record them in ProRes, in HQ, 422, LT, so all that capability recording those signals. And yet there's still more processing capability in the Apollo, so we can record a fifth channel. The fifth channel would either be a quad split, so you see all four images at once on one screen, or you can instead set it to be the four original ISOs, the four original inputs, plus a live switch, because this is also a switcher. So I can use this as a switcher, and you can see we are switching between inputs. That switch can be hard cuts, or as we're debuting at the show here, you can see we've as added uh, dissolves in the functions, cutting it live and actually having that be recorded. So wow, yeah, yeah, it will, and it of course still records your original four inputs that are coming in, so that if you decide you missed something or you want to change it for a later use or something, you can always go into the edit and change that. Uh, for the month of April, the Odyssey 7Q Plus is normally $2,295. It's on sale for $500 off at $1,795. The Apollo is normally $3,995 on sale for the month of April for $29.95, $1,000 off. 
if you have an Odyssey 7Q or 7Q Plus and you want to get one of the options, the uh, the uh, Odyssey Raw Bundle, normally $9.95, on sale for $7.95, so $200 off, and the, up, the Apollo Option, so that you get all the Apollo functionality in your Odyssey 7Q or 7Q Plus, that is normally $17.95, on sale for $12.95, so $500 off. So that's quite a sale that's going on with those things. All right, and that was Mitch with Convergent Design talking about a lot of new upgrades for the Odyssey and the Apollo here at NAB 2016.